Hey gang, Spada here, and today we're taking a look at Transformers Armada Red Alert with Long Arm. Now we'll take a look at Long Arm first. He is a little crane truck. Transformation is about what you might expect. A very, uh, very hook-esque from the Constructicons. Flip out the front of the vehicle, form the legs, and that's it. That's all there is to it. That's it. Alright, so we'll return him to vehicle mode. Now, here is Red Alert. He is an ambulance SUV, a very nice-looking little ambulance SUV. I rather dig it. I like this alternate mode. It looks good. He does have a few gimmicks in this mode, first of which, first Minicom port up there. Now, I don't believe he has lights and sounds. I don't think he does, but what you do is you push it forward, or, I'm sorry, pull it back, and it allows a, a spring to flip out to form the, a gun, which missiles or a missile shoots out of. It's a weird missile. It's like a capture claw of some sort. So we will just put that, and I think I just broke it. Nope, it's good. All right, so then the other gimmick is this Minicom port on the hood. Peg it in, and it opens up, and then he's a disc launcher. And there is only one disc in, unfortunately. But the disc is a tire. Actually, no, it looks more like a life preserver. So we'll go ahead and put that back. That is actually kind of a cool gimmick. I rather do dig that. All right, so transformation for this guy is, uh, is interesting. So what we'll do, we'll start off by uh, flipping out or opening up the, uh, the doors. And then folding down the rear parts of the vehicle mode. That will allow us to fold down the rear of the vehicle mode, which will then allow everything else to happen and apparently push every single button at the same time. So we'll do we'll go ahead and fold that down, and then we will fold those back up and fold out the feet. By folding out the feet, I mean fold down the feet and twist the legs around and fold out the heels. Like that. For the rest of the transformation, as you saw, we already flipped up the head. And then we need to come under here and flip down the arms. Like that. Now, on his one arm, he has a hand. On his other arm, nothing. So what do we do there? Well, that's interesting because in uh, right back here at the bottom of the leg, he's got a couple of different attachments. We'll go ahead and add the laser scalpel attachment. So plug that in. And there we go. Now as a mega or ultra class figure, he's very, very simple. A little too simple for my taste. Uh, it's not bad, mind you, but he is a very, very simple figure. Now, a couple of uh, gimmicks in the mode is, first we've got the launcher up here, and then you can redeploy the gun again, and that'll form a cannon, or you can unpeg it and put it in his hand for a just a normal gun, like that. And then down here on the other wheel, or other side, flip it out, and it acts, and flip it up, it acts like a targeting area for another Minicon, though uh, plugging a Minicon in there doesn't do anything. Uh, overall, the posability isn't too bad. Uh, swivel joints and ratchet joints are abound. Head is on a, uh, a swivel joint that really doesn't move. Shoulder is swivel joint. Then another swivel at the uh, at the upper arm. Arm can bend full 90 degrees, so you get some good movement there. Leg is on a ratcheting swivel joint. Then a sw then a uh, just a normal uh, sliding joint there in the knee, and uh, joints in the legs or ankles. So overall, it's not a bad figure, but it's just kind of disproportionate. I mean, it's just got it's mostly car parts or I'm sorry, ambulance parts with limbs sticking off of them. And that's about it. That's not saying, as I said, it's not saying it's bad. It's just kind of boring. Um, it, it just doesn't totally work for me. Now, this guy was repainted as a, uh, as a Power Lynx figure, 
And then he became Energon Prowl in Movie Inferno. So he's had a few repaints. Uh, the Energon, I'm sorry, the uh, Power Links version is orange. The Energon is blue and white, or the Energon Prowl. And then the, uh, the Movie Inferno is bright red. So he's seen some, the figure has seen some life as uh, different repaints. But it's, like I said, it's not bad. It's just not my cup of tea.